We're going to show you how to disassemble and reassemble the Axial Flow Infinity Valve or Instrument Innovations Valve. First thing you need to do is take off the stop arm. So with the tool that we supply, you take the top screw off that's holding the stop arm in or on. flathead screwdriver just under the stop arm give it a little twist should pop off easily now we re remove the large nut that holds the valve together when reinstalling this nut you don't need to crank it extra tight just crank it down snug tight valves or uh, when you over tighten that nut you can cause problems and have issues Now we've got our valve disassembled. We need to take the small nut out of the top plate before we braze the valve together. That's usually the only reason that you would take the nut out. Uh, you wouldn't take it out for cleaning. I have tools. This is the removal tool and this is the installation tool for the small bearing. Not bearing nut, the small bearing, I'm sorry. Okay, so from the top, you insert that in the center and you hand tighten the removal nut. There's a pocket in this removal nut that accepts the bearing. So from there, we just Tighten that screw and you can feel it release and the bearing is out. The bearing ends up in the pocket of the nut. Okay, to reinstall this bearing into the top plate, use the bearing installation tool. Put the bearing on the small Allen bolt, put it in from the bottom side, and then tighten it on to the small piece with one wing. And that is there, so it will clear the tubes. If this were mounted onto a horn, you can do the same thing with these tools. They're made to clear the tubes. So now we're reinstalling the bearing. So we simply let the, the screw do the work and tighten it in. Okay. It doesn't have to be super snug, but you need to get it to be seated into the back plate. And you can tell it's seated when you see that it's below the surface, the ceiling surface of the top plate, which that is. Now, we can take the large bearing nut out of the casing by using the removal tool that we supply. Notice there's no T-handle or no um, plier marks on these tools. They're meant to not be over tightened. So we don't want you cranking this thing on so tight that nobody will ever get it off. It also can cause a bind in the bearing by over tightening this tool. So just tighten it snug. There's the bearing nut and there's the bearing. If the bearing sticks in the casing, you could use a 5 8 pin Stick it in the center of the bearing, wiggle it back and forth, and it should pop right out. So again, to reinstall, put the bearing in, put the bearing nut in. I like to get things aligned and just turn it backwards a little bit just to get the pilot in and get everything aligned straight. You don't want to cross the threads. It should easily screw in. And again, when you get to the tight, 
can just hand tighten it. And you can feel it with your fingers spin freely. And now we have our nut and bearing back into the casing. Lines up with the tab. Put the large retaining nut back on. And again, you don't need to over tighten this, just snug. Okay, now the stop arm has a little dot on it. That dot faces the lettering or the front or towards the bumpers. Reinstall the stop arm. Again, you don't want to cross thread anything. assembled our valve. Okay, this is the bearing nut removal tool. This is the bearing nut installation tool for the small bearing removal tool. Small bearing removal tool, small bearing installation tool. This removes the large bearing nut that holds the bearing in the casing.